welcome to the 2020 Northern Ireland Music Prize, live from the OES oh yeah Centre in Belfast. Yes, and because of, you know what, there's all sorts of restrictions on what we could do at this year's event, but the pandemic hasn't stopped some incredible music and creativity in 2020. So we've got a great show lined up for you back here at the OES oh yeah Centre, which is kind of the uh, spiritual home of the NI Music Prize in the first place. It is, and we are live tonight across the globe, thanks to our good friends at YouTube Music. And we've got a great evening of music in store. We'll be giving out awards for the best album, best single, best live act, and the Oh Yeah Contender Award. And we'll also be honoring a musical legend from right here in Belfast. Tonight is all about the live music. The first thing I wanna say is, if you're, if you're watching at home on your phone or your laptop, because that's how you're used to watching YouTube, get up the TV because so much time and effort's gone into some incredible live performances that you're going to see not tonight. It's not your kind of normal stream, so get it up on the big screen uh, and make the most of all the hard work that's gone in to bring this event to you tonight. We're really excited about the likes of Arborist, Carreras, Joshua Burnside, Kit Philippa, Phil Kieran, Sasha Samara, all in tonight's show, performing strictly within COVID-19 guidelines, of course. And from the Music Prize Archive, Jordan Adetunji and Snow Patrol. And as we are live tonight on this YouTube premiere, we would love to hear from you. So post your comments and your thoughts and we'll bring you the best of them throughout the show. But it's down to business with some live music. Shortlisted for this year's Oh Yeah Contender Award. And she really is a very new prospect. Not that you'd think it from watching this performance. Uh, with her full band, this is Sasha Samara. frustration lost in all translations I crave your clarity words were my weapons once but now I've tied knots into my tongue I'm trying to be grateful while I'm begging for a breakthrough I need you close to me like the leaves can't escape the evergreen I know you won't let go of me When I lose myself in waters deep You sink and swim to set me free If you're the sun, then I'm your sunflower Turn my head from the shadows Lift my eyes a little higher Right above the tree line Deep breath, I'm gonna be alright Ooh, I'm your sunflower Follow your light I follow you blind Planted in your ground I won't fear when the night comes around Sick down to my stomach, but you don't run out of peace. Tend to run away. I duck and hide my face, but you are never angry. You're patient in the panic. You build a bridge to me, like the petal captivates the bee. You don't tire of my company.
sunflower Turn my head from the shadows Lift my eyes a little higher Right above the tree line Deep breath, I'm gonna be alright Ooh, I'm your sunflower Follow your light I follow you blind Your love will not run out There is no room for doubt That you're the sun And I'm your sunflower Turn from the shadows Lift my eyes a little higher Right above the tree line Deep breath, I'm gonna be alright Ooh, I'm your sunflower Follow your light I follow you blind Planted in your ground I won't fear when the night comes around When the night Wow, how stunning was that? What a way to kick off tonight's show. And isn't it great to hear some brand new live music in these very different times? We'll have more music from Sasha and the band later on. Yeah, yeah the band's performing right behind us at the OES Centre here in Belfast. Time for some drama though. Our first award of the night, and this award is supported by our friends at the charity Help Musicians, who since March have given more than £11 million in hardship funding to support 18,000 musicians across the year. And you can only imagine how much of a lifeline that will have been. If you are a musician, if you're watching at home, and you could do with some financial support at the minute, the third phase of the charity's hardship fund has just opened. It's very important this, so check out their website for more details. Now this is always a hotly contested category, so let's remind ourselves who's made the shortlist this year. Arborist, here comes the devil. Took a blood rush from a thigh, cripped it upon a rose. Here comes the devil, here comes the devil. Bicep Atlas. Abigail. Joshua Burnside, the only thing I fear. Oh, when I was younger, my parents were out working. Your voice is in the attic, your face is in TV static. Tigers in the garden, ghosts under the stairs, and under my bed behind the curtain. Always feel a presence lurking. New Pagans. Charlie has the face of a saint. Charlie had the face of a saint. He knows he's only in love when it rains. The remake holds up to this very day. And his mother agrees to appease him. I'm yours if I want it to be. You're easy to have when you're down on your knees. Respect. 
Ryan Veal and Elmo Orchestra, Love. Love, love, love. Respect. I was very excited about the opportunity to do this. I've been practicing all night. The winner, the best single, 2020. Is? Is? Should we say it together? Yeah, let's do it together. Okay. Let's do it. Three, three, two. Arborist. Hello, Mark. Can you hear us? Hello, Hello. you can yeah. hear us. We can hear him. We're live. Congratulations <laughs> on your award. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. I'm it seems a bit strange, all right? That was a public vote. Um, you sure you counted them all? Yeah. Oh, we definitely did. All counted and tallied. Well, congratulations. How how does it feel? Uh, yeah, a bit mad. Yeah, I mean the uh, yeah, it's a bit mad that it was a public vote and we 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 managed to <laughs> managed to come on top there. Um, but great nonetheless. Yeah, delighted. Absolutely delighted. And what um, do you think this makes makes this track so special in particular? Uh, that's hard, hard for me to say, but uh, the I suppose the the kind of the unknown background to this song was that actually we, we recorded the album in Real World Studios over in uh, in in England over near Bath, mm -hmm. but actually we, the version we did of this song we weren't happy with, so we came back and ended up finishing it back just above your head there and start together. So um, so the way I see it, it's Rocky O'Reilly one. Uh, Peter Gabriel Mill. So. <laughs> That's where the magic happens. Well, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your night. Mark, of course, representing Arboris from County Antrim. Incredible record as well, which has also been nominated for Album of the Year. We're going to find out who's won that later on and uh, just enjoy the live music, which I guarantee is very special indeed. I was born at the edge of a dark and restless sea I was born beneath the vast grey canopy Now I'm moored to the North Star And guided silently Through a night sky gently shifting by degrees And I've seen the sunset bleeding Out through an evening sky Oh, I've seen it close to thirteen Thousand times but To have it draped behind this rugged northern view oh, makes each time feel completely new.
careful dive Seep into my bones oh, I felt the need to stay of cherry blossom trees Oh, I wandered through its petals Smothered me of the rosary the sorrowful mysteries of the scourging at the pillar of the crucifixion and those other three to try to fend off some devil come here in disguise in truth after I'd finished I felt further and I went out wandering on my dying day, singing out. Next up, delighted to say that we're joined by uh, the woman who has the, I was going to say she's the unenviable task of putting this all together, the event, not so much the, the, you know, getting people up on Zoom. She's a real person, so we can actually speak to her. Can you make some noise? Can you say hello there? Hello, we're excited. We can hear! <laughs> wow, how exciting. Charlotte, how are you? Hi, not too bad. Yeah, tired. It's been an amazing night so far, though. I'm glad you admitted that you're tired because you've been the busiest bee in the entire city for the last day. Few days. Of course, this event is part of Sound of Belfast. It's not yep. just a standalone. I hardly found it so far in these circumstances. Yeah, I mean, it's been tough. Like, obviously, live music's completely gone and venues are closed. So, you know, we decided we had to try and make something happen. And, and I think the music scene needed a moment. So we, we scheduled and pre recorded a load of gigs. And they've been happening all week and they've all been incredible and incredibly diverse as well. Uh, and tonight's the big night. So, yeah, and it's been amazing actually. The buy in from the local music community, everybody's really excited. So, um, just watching the, uh, the YouTube feed going mad there. Though. So, it's great. There's loads of comments coming in and it's great. It's good. Great. And how do you think that the, the bands are dealing with the, the pandemic in general? I mean, I know that you guys have been uh, fantastic because the live performances that we're seeing are bespoke for this event and it's also been incorporating local sound guys and, and, and all the kind of the, the, the people who, who bring us all the lighting all year round. So yeah. um, that's been helpful. But putting that aside, how do you think the last few months have been? Oh, it's been really tough. I mean, you know, like I said, venues have been shut since March. There's been barely any music, any any performance uh, since March. And that's been pretty devastating for musicians mm -hmm. and freelancers. And, you know, something like 73 percent of the industry are freelancers, you know, um, and incomes have been completely pu pulled away. Um, and it's been tough. It's been really tough for artists. But I think that, uh, you know, they're a resilient bunch and uh, there's been some amazing music made. Um, during lockdown, um, but um, it is worrying, and uh, you know we do need to we need we need to keep pushing government. There needs to be a long-term package of support um, because fair play, we were the last to, oh, sorry the first to close, but we'll probably be the last to open, and yeah. that's that's worrying, you know. Okay, and I mean, uh, I mean we're trying to be as positive yeah. uh, as we can. Uh, is there any light at the end of the tunnel for you? I mean, I'm, I know you're not a scientist, you're not going to sort of tell me exactly when we're going to see live music, but what do you think that might look like? 
in 2021? Yeah, well, I mean, it is it is tough and it is going to be, you know, I think we're going to be having to, it's going to be tough for the next little while as well. But I, like I said, I think people have started to find ways to adapt and even like what we're doing tonight. Um, you know, you were talking about um, freelancers earlier. What we've done with all of these gigs and all of these pre-records and streams is we've very safely, you know, with, um, in guidelines of COVID, brought people in and um, paid people to perform to get involved, um, to do lighting and, you know, all that stuff that's always behind the scenes. So um, we, we'll try, we'll just keep that going and we'll try and come up with projects to do that. Also the OES Centre, um, you know, long term, I think um, it, it's going to be a slow journey back, but I, I, I am positive that we'll get there. And uh, like I say, I just think we have a very uh, positive and resilient scene and they've, they've had a hard time, but they'll bounce back. Sure, thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the night. That's your hard work done. You can, you can have a drink and relax. <laughs> Charlotte will also be back later in the show to reveal the closest guarded secret in the NI music world. Who's won tonight's big prize album of the year? But time first for some more live music. This time from an artist whose experimentation, passion and pushing of musical boundaries have wide audiences across the country. Tonight they're performing a worldwide TV exclusive with L. This is Kit Philippa. How could it have come to this? Bitter lies Throbbing in my temple's court Very special and intimate performance from Kit Philippa there. And Kit's album, Human, has also been shortlisted for Album of the Year. Yeah, just a little bit special, incredible stuff. But next up, it's the award for the best live act, uh, and given the year that's in it, 
we may have been forgiven for giving this category you know, a miss, but we're carrying on regardless. Although there has been no live gigs since March, of course, in this category, then includes performance from July 2019 to March of this year. Here's your shortest. And so I watch you from afar. New Pagans. Problem patterns. Ryan Veal, Elma Orchestra. long before normal service is resumed with regards to live music. But to tell us who has won this one, a man who's played well, quite a lot of gigs over the years, both as Snow Patrol's guitarist and Little Matador frontman, Nathan Connolly. He's another real life person. He's, he's sitting it's, here. Yeah, which real is, life, nice to be yeah, how close, excited? but yeah. far enough away. Frustration, <laughs> frustration that we can't reach out and touch you and give you a nice big I know, I know, it's weird coming help. in. It's probably the, the the Canvas NI Awards. Yes. <laughs> by, by some distance. It's the first time anyone's ever been able to hear uh, me, which is <laughs> no. not necessarily well, a good thing. When I come in, it's like there's, there's a beautiful chaos that's usually involved in these, yeah. these but it's... Um, well, yeah. we tried our best with uh, the chaos, uh, with kind of dodgy Zoom streams and stuff, but we'll, we'll move on. It's a different kind, yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, it's amazing to have you here. You've been in Belfast um, all year, basically. Yeah. How frustrating has that been for you as a musician? How much have you missed being on stage? Um, well, I think I'm in a slightly different position because we only finished touring in January. Sorry, yeah. So, but we were supposed to be out from June to October. So everything's, yeah, like everybody has been moved. It's a tough time for everybody. It's, you know, doing this, this awards, continuing with them is probably more reason to celebrate it. I think, you know, just heard you saying there that there wasn't a lot of live stuff this year, but it's probably more reason to celebrate it, acknowledge it when it's, you know, to be reminded of what we miss. And, um, hopefully back to it soon, but yeah, you know, it's been, it's strange. What has it been for, um, I guess, for the wider Snow Patrol family, how has that impacted them? Well, yeah, I mean, like, like lots of bands and, you know, our crew, many of them have been with us for a long time, you know. Um, obviously, it's not just artists who are affected by it, it's everybody else, you know, everybody that makes the shows happen. So, yeah, they're doing great and, you know, we try to help as much as we can, but it's, you know, I don't think it matters from club to arena to stadium. There's across the board people are affected, but um, but they're good and they're safe and well. That's the main thing. And have you been chatting much to the rest of the band, the rest of your crew, management, all that? Put I haven't spoken together? to any of them because I've just seen them for two years, so I've just decided okay. not to. Um, yeah, no, we're, of course we're in touch all the time. It's. Um, but are you making plans? I guess is what. I'm yeah, asking. I mean we are. We are. We're making plans. Everything, hopefully. Um, I think a lot of it has been announced, but it's everything that was happening this year has just moved to next year. With the year on mass, um, yeah. But that's, you know, for us, that's June. So it's, you know, it's, it feels a long way off, but hopefully it, it won't be, you know. Yeah, and, and how are you with lockdown? Are you secretly glad for a bit of peace and quiet and opportunity? I'm sure at the moment you'd be absolutely, you know, your head be wrecked because we're all busting to get out there. But yeah. that first little period, did you maybe enjoy a little bit of calm? To be honest, I did, because uh, we just had those two years. Yeah. But at the same time, of course, we miss playing live. I mean, that's the 
that's what it's all about for, for, yeah. for many of us. But it's, yeah, I mean, of course we miss it. I was happy, but um, I dare say, you know, next year it'll be a very different story. But, yeah. you know. Okay, well, listen, uh, a lot of bands watching at home in this category. I'm just melting their head by talking so much. I just want to know who's won. So, Nathan, if you'll do the honours for us. I will do. Um, just to say that the those clips were just amazing and really an amazing reminder about what we miss and hopefully we'll get back to it soon. But um, I'll stop talking. Uh, the winner of Best Live Act is New Pagans. Hello, <laughs> congratulations. There he is, Connor. Can you hear us, Connor? Hello, what's up, Craig? Can you hear me? <laughs> and we can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> How does it feel to be the public's choice of last live band? Crazy. Uh, definitely, well, I don't know, what, what can you say? There's so many, so many incredible live artists in this country. Um, we're all absolutely down to get back out there and do what we're doing. Thank you to the OES Centre for organising the Sound of Belfast. It was an absolute treat to get on a stage and do do what we do. Um, so thank you. Um, Cara and Lindsay were supposed to take this, but their internet is cut out. They're, they're oh, on no. HA. Uh, <laughs> so you've been kept but, uh, then. <laughs> I know, so I got landed with it. But no, cheers to everybody. Um, and yeah, I just I cannot wait to just get out and play again and get out and see gigs again. You know. Speaking about, I guess not gigging for months. How do you keep a musical shape? What do you do? Well, I start off with 10 press-ups in the morning. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just try to play as much music as I can, write as much as I can. The way I see it, I'm a musician, and I'll be a musician for the rest of my life, whether you know there's lockdowns or whatever. It's a short period of time, um, and nothing, nothing's going to stop us doing what we do. You know? Yeah. Oh, well, that is great to hear. And do you have any plans for the future, or would you like to make a shout-out to anyone at home? Shout out to Charlene, our manager, who works very hard for Prettier. Um, and yes, we have lots of good news coming in the future, but you'll all have to wait and see what it is. <laughs> A surprise for us. Well, thank you so much, Connor, and congratulations again. Cheers, thank you, folks. Have a good night. Fans are always so gracious, uh, you know. And you, 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 you boys are desperate, Bafa too, being really sound. <laughs> when you just go on stage, you go, oh, it's all about the other nominees. It's not. A, why does no one ever just go up and go, yeah, we're the best? It's, I think uh, it's the Northern it's, Ireland it's and very, it's all. It's the Northern Irish thing. You know. <laughs> Everyone always looks sort of faintly embarrassed to be to win something. <laughs> <It's just laughs> a, again, you're Northern really you're giving me this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't be here. You pagans well deserved though. Yeah, it's I mean, one of those brilliant, bands. brilliant bands, amazing bands. They are, they're incredible on record as well, but then they go live and it's just at an extra level. Uh, all lovely people getting in touch. We've got people uh, checking out the stream in Berlin, in Dublin, in Wicklow, in Texas. This is Texas, USA here, just oh, to be clarified. International. Uh, in Belfast, uh, Le Letterkenny, <laughs> Sainfield, and Palomina. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Usual selection of visions. Uh, Courtney says uh, she's listening from Texas, best is up to all the nominees. So much incredible talent. Melanie's been really excited. All day. We know some people have been um, you know, getting dressed up for this and making a proper night of it, you know, which is incredible. Also slightly upsetting that that's what it's come to, but you know, we really appreciate you doing that. Uh, Francois, is that how you pronounce that? In Warwick, UK, wishing every formidable artist the best evening and us celebrating your music and Una's listening uh, and enjoying the show in Dublin. Good luck all. It was such a good night last year and I'm sure it'll be great but different in 2020. Una, thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody who is uh, checking out what we're doing. Great choice of live act as well. Mm -hmm, definitely, definitely is. Well, we've still got lots to come. We have the award for the OEA oh yeah contender. We'll also be honouring a Belfast music legend and announcing the winner of tonight's big prize, Album of the Year 2020. Okay, fantastic. Um, where do we go to next? Some Snow Patrol? Yeah, let's hear is some Snow Patrol. Is that deliberate because Nathan's here? Is that just coincidental? I don't know. Okay. It's well, a happy coincidence. <laughs> this is last year at the Ulster Hall Anna Music Prize 2019 Snow Patrol on stage with Hope. I remember trips to Belfast On that train that hugs the coast The fields turn quickly into golf course The golf course just as fast to feel It was a Carlo Post, I'll grant you To know it all when we knew none Those days we walk the streets of 
fell fast Like our kingdom come had come trips to Derry, are you all right, love? <laughs> On the old car's freezing seats And I know Fountain Street in winter My grandma's laugh, the greatest noise It should have been harder since she left us None of us have been the same But the light she left is endless And I still see her every day points of interest Us Nazi kids just rolled our eyes The punched out teeth of Irish history Mistakes were made, let's leave it there But there's one thing we can all agree on There's beauty north, south, east, and west. There's beauty north, south, east, and west. And of course, Skylight Body and all the Snow Patrol, so, so supportive, not just of Northern Irish music, but of this prize in particular. And that was the Ulster Hall Snow Patrol on stage last year. And here is the next year being back on stage at the Ulster Hall. Not that there's anything wrong with being here at the, the OES Centre. And we are very grateful for everybody who is watching at home, uh, wherever they may be on the planet. Thank you for your company. Still getting loads of comments and thoughts in Brian Coney saying, did anyone else see the ghost on John Moorhead walk past there? Spooky. <laughs> Suzanne Doyle, oh wow sir, love saying I was there and so wish we were all there again now. Well done to everyone for making this happen tonight. Very best from down the road in Dublin. And we also have Melanie, who was too enthralled to mention it at the time, but Kit Phillips' performance was so delicate yet powerful at the same time. Such talent, best of luck. I think we all feel the same there. We still got lots more live music from right here at the Oh Yes Centre. Joshua Burnside's live music appearances have seen him play everywhere from the Great Escape to South by Southwest, but we are delighted that he was able to treat us to a very intimate performance right here in the Oh Yes Centre, just for tonight's show. This is Joshua Burnside with Driving Alone in the City Tonight. Driving alone in 
this city at night I thought I saw you caught in the high branches of a beech tree bowling in the bluster above the big houses of solicitors mm. built at the end of the 20th century computers were big everybody was wealthy and the horror of it all flew into my vision like an oil for its dinner with lethal precision mm. And then into the dark you rode on the wind Shaking your head as if to rescind Some crucial law of quantum mechanics One cannot be here Whilst over there So you must stream in My kind brother Yes, you must remain, my sweet brother Until eventually all of our smiling skeletons Are gently uncovered by smiling Americans And all is explained how we came to such unfortunate endings by the cracks in our skulls and the dull gull arrows in our graves. Flood. I'm not upright in light of it all Guinness frozen to his hand, naked and soulless. Half naked and soulless, oh dear. But you must stream in, you must remain, you must stream in, you must remain, you must remain, you must remain, my kind brother. My sweet brother Just brilliant. I have to say, Josh, your burn side blows me away every time. Now, our next award is for the Oh Yeah! New Contender in association with BBC Radio Ulster's ATL introducing It's Our Way to Celebrate Emerging Acts Within the Thriving Northern Irish Music Scene. Voting for this award has taken place on the BBC's online platforms and, as always, the competition has been strong. Here's a glimpse of the four shortlisted acts. Gender chores.
Jordan Adetunji. Kicked off bruised our thoughts in my head. Didn't want to live, but instead I woke up again. I was lost, found myself breaking. I was drunk, anything I'm taking, but I. Problem patterns. I don't know about you, but that is one I would not like to have to choose a winner from. Yeah. So tough, four great young acts there. And I suppose to tell us who has won, I'm joined from London by Lynn Best, native of Ahoho. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, I've been trying it all day. Ahoho, Ahoho. Not better. <laughs> better. <laughs> Vice Chair of the OES Centre and Head of Communications at UK music licensing company PPL, who are kindly supporting tonight's event. Lynn, you've just seen four great emerging acts. Is the NI music scene equally as healthy? Oh, well, first of all, good evening, Gemma and Rixie. I hope you can hear me okay. And I just yeah. want to say it's an absolute pleasure to be chatting to you and well done to everyone so far this evening. Um, those four acts that we've seen and all the nominees in the various videos, my goodness, it just shows the sheer depth of creativity that we have in Northern Ireland. I think, if anything, the challenge is how do we get it out there and, and beyond the borders uh, of the country that we live in? Fantastic. And how important do you think for the new bands like having a platform like this prize and Sound of Belfast is? It's absolutely important, Rixie. I mean, I would say the Northern Ireland Music Prize is such a focal point for the industry every year. It gives, it gives everyone an opportunity to see what is going on in our music scene at home. And I think this year of all years is just even more important because we're online, we're virtual, and it gives everyone, regardless of where they may be, the opportunity to, to check in and see the great music we have to offer. Mm -hmm. Rightly so. And how do new acts get recognised or get that break? Goodness, if I knew the answer to that, I would have a lot of people knocking down my door, I think. <laughs> um, I guess there's no substitute for great music, but I'd say in the music industry in this day and age, it's really about the great team that you can build around you. You know, so if you have if people that understand how to make money in the industry, the various revenue streams, you know how to, let's say, manage your data, which is something we know all about at PPL. It might sound dull, but it's really important. And you have those people that can go out there and find opportunities for you in your music. It's so important. So it's really the coming together of great music and a great understanding, I would say, of the business of music. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Okay, Lynn, tell us who came out on top of the BBC Online vote. I will, but I just want to say, first of all, on behalf of the Oh Yeah board, Thank you to everyone that has supported Oh Yeah in recent months and, and also got behind all the local artists at home. And also on behalf of PPL, thank you for having us as part of Sound of Belfast and we are absolutely delighted to continue supporting the NI Music Prize. But what you want to hear from me is who has won the award. So I can reveal that the winner of the Oh Yeah Contender Award for 2020 is the absolutely wonderful Sasha Samara. <laughs> Wow, fantastic, Sasha, there she is. There's a genuine reaction, that's what we were after tonight. I was going to ask you how you are, Sasha, but I think it's quite clear that you're, you're very excited. I would say, Rizzi, that I am elated. This is a yeah. lot of well, that's fantastic. I mean, we wasn't expecting it. <laughs> and where are you tonight, Sasha? You just at home, obviously, yeah? Live from my kitchen. Live from your kitchen? And have you been kind of following the, the award? I mean, I know you say you didn't expect to win, but you, you know, you were tuning in on the off chance that you might. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. I have my family down in the living room tuning in. <laughs> I think they've just heard the news. Brilliant. Um, 
So yes, we've been loving all the performances. It's such a great night. You guys are doing an excellent job. Oh, we did our best. It's funny, there's probably a little bit of a delay. So the, the kitchen probably got the news first, followed yeah. by the, the, the rest of the house. Sasha, I, I kind of said earlier on when we, yeah. we saw Sunflower, um, you know, you're such a new act, and I know because what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's basically the new, you know, the new band's um, category. But you, uh, how long have you been kind of doing this for? Because uh, you only sort of were on our radar a matter of months, or maybe just before lockdown was whenever we were first sort of getting excited about you. So you're very new. <laughs> I'm very, very new. I really, I played my last, or my first rather, my first gig um, in November, like the 2018. And that was like, I was like, oh, oh, I can do this. This is something I want to do forever. And then last year, I was really, really lucky enough to get on to scratch my progress with the OES Center. Um, and it's kind of been all go ever since. So yes, I feel like a little baby in the music industry, but I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, and you built up all this momentum and then it was all kind of, the rug was, from India. So how have you spent the last few months preparing for taking over the world? <laughs> well, um, I, <laughs> it's been tough. I think a lot of creatives have found that it has been really hard to create in this environment where we're like locked down and the world is kind of falling apart around us. Um, but to kind of, you know, prepare the way to like keep moving forward. I've been learning how to produce music, which is fun. I'm like a little Ableton queen now. And um, <laughs> but just trying to write more songs. So yeah. <laughs> Sasha, congratulations from everybody here at the OES Center. Delighted for you. Go and enjoy the rest of the night with your family. We'll get your award out to you soon as well. Well done, Sasha. Massive well done to Sasha and the band again, but now I think we'll have another track for them later on in the show. But right now we have some more live music from here at the OES oh Centre. Nominated for Album of the Year, Slacker, Rock Titans, Princes, whatever you want to call them, here's Careerist. Bottles of bomb. 
go live from the OES Centre. It was Careerist. Uh, thank you for watching live on YouTube. If you're watching in the future, thank you for checking out the NI Music Prize for 2020. We come now to one of the highlights of uh, the event every year, the OES Legend Award for 2020 honours an artist or a band who has made a truly impactful impression through music here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the world. Now the walls of the OES Centre here in Belfast pay tribute to many of the legends that I'm talking about, Gary Moore, Ash, Neil Hannon, The Undertones, Derby, Snow Patrol, to name just a few. Um, but this year, in association with Marie Curie, Belfast and supported by Colin Reid, we honour a truly great songsmith and balladeer. This year's legend captured the hearts of thousands of fans and the respect of many of his fellow songwriters. Van Marsh and Shane McGowan off the top of my head, again, just naming a couple. I am, of course, talking about the late, great Martin Christopher Kennedy, or simply known to us all as BAP. And here to talk about BAP's remarkable career is BBC broadcaster and longtime friend of BAP, Ralph McLean. Ralph, how are you? I'm very well, Rigsy, and delighted to be here, a paying tribute to a man who I think is a supremely soulful songwriter, yeah. one of our true greats. For me, he's right up there with, with the absolute greats of, of songwriting. A uh, very self-deprecating man, Bap, so he probably wouldn't have said it himself. But when Bap passed away four years ago, I happened to be in Nashville. Uh, I'd known Bap was very, very sick and terminally ill, but mm -hmm. I had to go to Nashville for a trip, and I got the, the bad news that Bap had passed. And that really brought it home to me just how international he was as a songwriter, because I was in Nashville, Tennessee, and I happened to be with Ray Kennedy, who is from the Twang Trust, which is yeah. Steve Earle's production company. And they were heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken about the passing of Bob. Steve Earle himself uh, was very, very moved and, and talked to me for a long time about just what Bob meant. And Steve had produced Bob's album, Domestic Blues, as well. So he, he made a connection with songwriters and, and performers all over the world to be honest, and when you think of people he worked with, like Mark Knopfler, mm -hmm. you know, Mark Knopfler was, was deeply in love with the, the really sort of gorgeous melancholy that, that Bap had with his, his solo material. Shane McGowan considered him an incredible writer. Uh, Van Morrison considered him one of the very best that this country has ever uh, thrown up. So these are amazing acts to be involved with, and when you look back on Bap's legacy as well, through Ten Past Seven in particular, mm -hmm. Energy Orchard, uh, you know, before he went through his solo years, uh, it's an incredible legacy and that legacy lives on through the music and uh, I just think it's wonderful that he's getting this uh, award today because um, it's long overdue and it's very much deserved, I feel. We saw Machine uh, McGowan there and then Pete Doherty, which I guess illustrates beautifully that, that you know, he had a appeal across generations. Why do you think someone like Bap, I mean obviously huge fan base, maybe especially with the, the solo material, why was he the songwriter, songwriter? Why did do all these names, you've mentioned Steve Earle, Van Morrison, dig him so much. What did he have to appeal to, to, to the absolute titans of, of songwriting? Well, it's that word again, soulfulness. Uh, and, you know, Bob had that in abundance. Yeah. Uh, he, he had an ability to just tap into universal truths. And you can see that in the music. It's often very simple with Bob, but it really moves you. And Bob's music always moved me. It's difficult for me to talk about Bob purely as a musician because I knew him as a, a, as a true and loyal friend as well. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, very self-deprecating, so he, he wouldn't have been blowing about the, the amazing uh, credits that he got down the years and the respect that he had through the years. But that body of work that, that Bob left w was absolutely amazing. And he loved those classic songs. He loved the Hank Williams of this world. He loved the, the songwriters who could write songs that could break your heart at a hundred paces, you know. And when I heard the news in Nashville, I had the morning off and I thought I'll go to Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, which is out the back of the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. And that's where the likes of Hank Williams would have nipped out of the back of the Ryman because it was a dry place, it was yeah. a church. And he would have had a few drinks. And I raised a glass to Bob and I knew he would have liked that because he was a massive fan of those classic artists, the Hank Williams of this world. And for me, his work, when you think of a song, take a song like, like Moonlight Kiss or something, there's a timeless quality to it. You could picture it being covered by any style of music. That's the sign of a great song. That's the sign of a great songwriter and a great man, Bob Kennedy. Well, listen, thank you very much, Ralph. We'll hear more from you in a little moment. But before we present the award, the Legend Award to Bap's wife, Brenda, let's have a look at the man in action. This is Bap Kennedy, uh, the Bap Kennedy trio, I should say. Bap, Brenda and Gordy McAllister playing at Music Star in Germany. This is called Her Lawn.
Nothing is heavier in the universe than a human heart still suffering for an ancient sin and we all played our part nothing is stronger in the universe than a human heart outside the gates trying to push our way in Before it gets to dark How long, how long Till the pain is gone How long, how long, how long Nothing is lonelier In the universe Than the human heart Left to ponder A lifetime without love It's time it falls apart How long, how long Till the pain is gone How long, how long, how long Nothing is greater in the universe than the human heart to rise above the sorrowful earth, the agony and the hurt. How long, how long? Till the pain is gone How long, how long, how long How long, how long Till the pain is gone How long, how long, how long Till the pain is gone How long, how long, how long How long, how long Till the pain is gone How long, how long Bob Kennedy there uh, with How Long, one of his greatest songs, I think. It's a wonderful occasion to be giving Bob the Legend Award here at the OES Centre for the Northern Ireland Music Prize. 
and I'm really delighted that uh, Bob's wife and musical collaborator, you saw her there in that clip from Germany, Brenda Kennedy's with us now. Brenda, what would Bob make of all of this? As I mentioned, he was kind of self-deprecating, wasn't he? Would he have enjoyed a, a, an event like this? Um, maybe he would have been glad it was during the lockdown. <laughs> it wouldn't have been, because as you know yourself, he wasn't really a social person at all. But he would have been, in terms of the um, award and the recognition, he would have been delighted, of course, you know. It is an amazing legacy, and I know you're very keen that that legacy is celebrated and that incredible Absolutely. back catalogue yeah. of music, both solo and, and band work, it's important it's to remind important. people it's out there. That's it. I mean, that's really, what, to me, what the legend is really all about. You know, this is one night, but, you know, if it's rem reminding people about Bap's music and encouraging them to listen to his music, that's, that's the most important thing. And as you know, that's what he wanted. And um, I think whether you remember, remember you came to the house um, a while before, and he said, um, I don't, he said uh, to me, I want you to look after the records. And then he joked, typical Bob, well, I don't mean just, just, just dust them, <laughs> 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 you know. So obviously the catalogue, that was everything to him, was to get that catalogue looked after properly. And he, he had, as you remember at the time, Reckless Heart, he had just recorded that. The final album. That's right, yeah. And he, I hadn't even got back in to mix it at the point when he took ill. And it was really, really important to him to get that out. So that gave him a focus, actually, over the months whenever he was ill, to try and get that finished, get the album finished and get it out. He had a you great know. sense of humour, didn't he, as he well? Had a which sense of is humor. worth mentioning because Bob was a very, very funny guy. For sure. I asked yeah. him about working. Not everybody has ever written with Van Morrison. Van Morrison doesn't do co writes. Uh, and I said to Bob at one stage, you know, what was it like working with a, a proper musical superstar? And Bob's reply in that typical laconic Belfast way was like, I think Van coped all right. <laughs> so, you know, he was a funny guy, yeah. wasn't he? Oh, and there was, was humour in Bob as well. Yeah. What does this mean to you, Brenda, and as a family, for, for yeah. you guys, what does this award mean? Well, Christine's here with me tonight, and um, she, you know, she and Kenneth, my son, would have said that Bob was um, one in a million stepdad, you know. So he was a, a real family man, and um, it means everything to me. And, uh, you know, I'm sort of here, in a way, representing him, so it's important for me to thank the people that I think that he would want to thank, you know, so obviously to thank Oh Yeah for this award and Colin Reid and obviously you Ralph because you have, um, you know, been, you were very supportive all over the years to, and a great friend and everybody here and, that has, and as he would have said, everybody that's supported and appreciated his music over the years and then there were a few people that I would also particularly want to mention. Um, one would be Willie Richardson who was, as you know, his manager and very good friend. Um, he, I know that Bap would have wanted to, him to, and obviously his sister Marion, who has, uh, she and, and uh, Bap were very, very close. And in fact, there was only, I think it was 10 months between them. So at one stage in the year, they were the same age. So they called themselves Irish twins. He was always very <laughs> close to Marion. She's been very supportive of his music and still continues to be. And she and Christine, in fact, are working very hard on Facebook and all those things at the moment. Um, so there would be Christine and Kenneth, my son, and he always helped with the website. So there was a big team, and it was always family for Bap, you know what I mean? And um, Charlotte, of course, of the OEA, oh yeah, and I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody here. Um, but, uh, who have I forgotten? Oh, and of course, I know that, above all, he would have wanted to pay tribute to his parents, Lily and Jim Kennedy. You know, I know that would have been awfully important to him. They were a big part of our lives in the time we were together. And they would deserve to be mentioned. Delighted to be giving you this award for the Thank family and for Bob's incredible Thank legacy. And Thank we you. miss him dearly, but this is a great way of remembering that incredible music. And not before time as well. Uh, Brenda, Thanks thank you so much. much. And Bob Thank Kennedy, you. proper legend. Bob Kennedy and it's your true. Lovely to shine a light on such, so much incredible music. Brenda, thank you very much thank for you. coming Thanks tonight. Very and, much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you too. Um, uh, it is the Ilya Centre for the NI Music Prize 2020. In a little while, we'll be announcing the winner of uh, the 2020 Album of the Year, supported by PPL. But first, time now for some uh, live music. This is somebody with an incredible back catalogue, almost 70 releases. Plenty of techno is kind of what he's known for, I guess. But there was also electro punk, courtesy of Alloy Mental, some shoegaze and psychedelia in there with the carousel. And his most recent EP is actually full of, of beatless ambience, so all over the place in the best possible way. And also a worldwide gigging schedule that is truly eye-watering. Our next artist is an electronic music institution. His album Life Cycling is shortlisted for this year's best album, and we're delighted that he's part of tonight's show. No more to be said. Phil Kieran.
That was a fantastic Phil Cairn. Now we have some shout outs here. Chrissy McCullough says hello to all from Oma. He's a native singer songwriter here watching from New York City right now. Good luck to my old friend Mark and the Lost Brothers tonight. Fantastic album and great night so far. Rashi McDonough, brilliant evening to celebrate a hard pressed live music entertainment sector and delighted to support the awards and the wonderful Oh Yes yeah Center, the heart of NI music. Congrats and really enjoying. And we also have somebody else here, Sarah, Sarah Lou, the Irish nature of things watching in Malawi, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, and she just says, I love Northern Irish music. Me too. How about you, Riggs? Yes, absolutely. Anybody watching in Malawi, I'd like to hear from them. Uh, lots of love for Bap as well. Uh, Jared says, Bap sadly miss. What a wonderful artist, songwriter, uh, and just a lovely man. Pauline says, lovely to see Bap honoured, an amazing voice. Conor McCauley, Bap is brilliant, hits you in the gut. Uh, Gordy, another hero too. Um, yeah, Gordy's uh, guitar playing on the, on the live clip that we saw was just wonderful as well. Keep getting in touch, guys. Please do. And so we come to tonight's main award, Album of the Year. Supported by our friends at PPL, this year we have 12 contenders for the coveted crown. So let's remind you of the first six in the company of music journalist Supremo Stuart Bailey. Arborist, a northern view. Arborist gave us beautiful poetic songs about the land, the language and the bloodlines. The band excelled with grungy guitars and swooning choruses. Mark McCambridge was in the best of form, spinning weird stories from the Irish rock and roll years and quoting from the works of Seamus Heaney. No more to the north. Arvo Party. Love above all. Herb McGee has been hugely productive in 2020, using the lockdown to finesse his many ideas. But Love Above All was the record that broke the dam, a well-considered stretch of electronic writing that covered the emotional edges of Come Down and Sunrise. Lead track, Tennyson, was surely a personal highlight. Careerist, Weird Hill. Carl, Nathan and Connor have an ironic understanding of a music career. But still, the Careerist album was a terrific throwdown. There were shivers of joy, bouts of passive aggression and angular guitar lines that came roaring out of the void. They related to the self-sabotage of Kurt Cobain, but also to his artistic genius. Kieran Lavery. Please stay, baby. It's getting easier to tell Album number four for Kieran Lavery was a further departure from his origins as a singer-songwriter. This, of course, was something that Kieran pursued with relish. He was closer in spirit to hip-hop artists like Kanye, larger than life, openly vulnerable, and full of a sense of play. There's nothing sacred between you and I That hasn't happened at least a thousand times Joel Harkin, Never Happy Back aboard a week now Joel met with our high expectations on his first album. This Donegal artist walked the streets of his adopted Belfast home, catching odd conversations and noting the stresses of a city being rapidly gentrified. He wove family details into these fascinating stories, combining whispers, guitar reverb, and fancy dreams. Junk Drawer, ready for the house. This was a searing, often uncomfortable record that was written out of stressful experience and mental illness. The lyrics were often shared by brothers Jake and Stevie Lennox, while the music took a challenging steer into left field jazz and slanted chords. It was the sound of personal distress and generational hurt. Thank you to Stuart Bailey, stalwart of the NI Music Prize for the overview of the first six records. We did kind of mislead people there, like we're going to announce the winner. We're not, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it to later on. That's just the first six. We've got the profile of the, the rest of the act set coming up in a little while. But right now, before we see the final six shortlisted albums, it's time for another exclusive performance. 
This was a wee bit of history actually last year, 2019, uh, at the Ulster Hall, the first um, Northern Irish hip hop act yeah. to take to the stage. And that probably seems really crazy because we're just completely overrun by incredible neo soul and, and, and hip hop and R&B in Northern Ireland. But Jordan was the first to take the stage at the Ulster Hall. And this is what happened last year for Jordan at a tangent. <laughs> That was a fantastic Jordan Adetunji performing live at last year's Music Prize with questions. I just want to give a little shout out to his jumpsuit, showing up in a NASA it, suit. It sort of felt like that was kind of, you know, he's going, oh, I can feel the energy in this room. There's oh, so many yeah. people make some noise. And then it comes back, it's just like me and you. <laughs> it's really <laughs> kind of contrasting yeah. what happened last year and what happened this year. But uh, yeah, he's kind of, he's chilling us a little bit. It does. Well, I mean, I was there. I was loving That's, it. That was great. <laughs> I love Jordan. So I suppose here the tension is still mounting as we remind you guys of the final six album shortlisted for tonight's big award. Once again, in the company of Stuart Bailey. Kit Philippa, human. I want to feel alive, feel alive, feel. Kit's debut album came from periods of intense reflection and the rebirth of a creative spirit. The songs were clearly personal, but Human also wanted to reach out and find a universal spark. Kit was sensitive to musical forms like trap and dubstep, but also wise to medieval plain song. A unique declaration. Melogen, Hum. Stevie Scullion brought forward the release of his album Hum to meet the pandemic head on. It was a bold move, but songs like Singularity provided important comfort during those tough spring days of 2020. The record was about techno dreams, memory glitches, and the resilient human soul. Hey, 
Our Krypton Sun Modern Ruins Chris McConaughey created a lifetime best with his Modern Ruins album. The songs had moments of quiet anxiety, but this was often offset by a deadly sense of humour. He was in the lyrical company of Leonard Cohen and Richard Hawley, but producer Ryan Vale added majestic surges of electronica, an extra surprise. Phil Kieran, Life Cycling. Phil Kieran has explored many aspects of electronica, but life cycling was significant even by his standards. It was a holistic album in that it took us to a place of contemplation. The music was mesmeric and hinted at Germanic pioneers like Kraftwerk plus the minimalist composer Steve Reich. Speaks like a saint, whistles like a bird. The Darkling Air, Ancestor. Rachel McCarthy and Michael Keeney returned in 2019 with their second album. Ancestor was a record about healing and chance meetings, about graveyards and the magic of wild swimming in Belfast Lock. The Arco String Quartet was arranged to perfection by Michael and the sound was strangely gothic and rich. The Lost Brothers. After the fire, after the rain. Album 7 from the Lost Brothers was produced by Tony Garnier, Bob Dylan's bass player. It reached for positive thoughts in the darkest hours. As ever, the harmonies were exceptional. While Mark and Oshin mixed their love of American roots music with the landscapes and mythologies from home. After the fire, they found ashes near the and there you go, those are the final six shortlisted albums, drama, you know, yes, under drama, all over Belfast, <laughs> if you know, <laughs> you know, if you've got two devices, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, thank you very much to the uh, PPL, everyone at PPL, for their support of the main awards tonight. To tell us who's won this year's prize, I'm delighted that Charlotte Dryden, Chief Exec here and overall boss lady from the OEM Music Centre, is back with us. Charlotte, how is the award winner chosen? Uh, well, the process starts in July when we invite uh, a cross-section of people working in the industry to, to nominate. Um, so we're trying to hold a mirror up to the scene and go, tell us, tell us what's out there, tell us what's great. So that comes back as a long list and then a short list is formulated from that. And then um, the best album, that short list, then we, we ask uh, 11 judges to get involved. So um, they met on Zoom this evening. So um, they didn't meet in person and probably just as well. Uh, there might've been a few fights today because I think it was quite hotly debated, but that's, that's kind of how it's done, you know, and it's quite a long process and um, it, uh, it, yeah, we're finally here, so. I'm sure it was a really tough decision for everybody over Zoom tonight. Absolutely, yeah, very much so. And in the year that it's been, the quality of music seems to be just as good as ever. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, the, the music scene here is, uh, you know, uh, as good as anywhere. And, you know, people say about local scenes, it's just a local scene. Everywhere has a local scene. And um, I think what we're trying to do here is say we have a world-class music scene and world-class musicians and artists and the, the prize turning the spotlight up on that, you know. Um, and just to give you an example, we had 84 submissions of albums this year and hundreds of singles, thousands of songs, um, and all of that's on the website. So, you know, if people can go out there and discover all the other stuff that's there as well, it's, it's for me, that's, that's the biggest part of it, you know. It's all killer, no filler. I mean, it's pretty crazy when you think about it that you can have a dozen records you know, and not only a dozen records, but a load of incredible records that haven't made the, the list in, in, in yeah. a country that's so small. Uh, you know, being in charge here at the OES Centre, of course, and um, well, maybe not at the moment, but broadly speaking, you see bands coming and going, you'll be chatting to them. Uh, you'll have chatted to, to a bunch of the acts who have won in the past. Um, what does it mean to them? What do they get off the back of it? I think the acts appreciate that it helps um, develop, a, you know, uh, 
their profile. We could never take any credit for any talent with this process. It's turning the spotlight up, um, and I think that you know now that we've secured sponsorship, uh, uh, a cash prize for artists, that's helping to invest in them and their time, and maybe you know planning the next album. Um, it, it definitely helps when it's you know it's in a press release and you've got the wider industry kind of seeing what's happening. So uh, you know I think a lot of artists appreciate that. If I won, I'd just spend the money on a big party. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would, Rixie. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, we shall waste no more time. Um, just I, I don't mean that we're wasting time. I just know that a lot of people are um, very, very excited to find out who has won the NI Music Prize. As you said, it was just decided this evening. The award is here, but it's not engraved because, we, well, you know, this is completely new to us. So. Yep. Yeah. Tell the watching world. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I think as award ceremonies go this year, we really went up to the wire with the decision on this, and the panel met uh, at four o'clock this afternoon and, and fought it out for nearly two hours, uh, and um, they did fight it out. But before I reveal the winner, I do need to say a few thank yous, if you don't mind, because I'll get into trouble. Um, so I do want to thank the Arts Council of Northern Ireland, Belfast City Council, YouTube Music, Help Musicians, PPL, who of course are sponsoring this award, Colin Reid and Marie Curie, who um, were very supportive of the Bat Kennedy um, presentation, and of course to Christine and Brenda and Ralph, who came down tonight, and across uh, the line, BBC Across the Line for the Contender Award, and then of course our nominators and the judges tonight, um, to Sharon, who, who hustled all of the nominators, Sharon Young, uh, Stuart, um, and obviously to all the people that vote and support and get behind all the bands. That's really, really important on the audiences. Um, and of course the, the, the artists themselves, thank you so much for, for, for believing in this. Um, the staff of Oh Yeah, Dee's been amazing, Shan tonight, Ryan, the board of Oh Yeah, all fantastic. You guys, um, thank you so much. Um, but I just want to say last but not least um, to, to Alex, who's been, I've been working closely with from my Gadgar production. Um, and Mike Edgar himself, he's an absolute legend. The guy mm. has been amazing um, over the last three or four months. We've been working so hard to make this happen in a year where there is just no live music um, and no venues open. And we just believed that people needed, the scene needed a moment um, to, 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 to be joyful. So, so yeah, um, so who is the winner? Yes, get on with it. <laughs> Even I'm like, uh, right, okay, 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 okay. Get it. okay. Thanks very much, all the tools. So like I said, um, there was a lot of debate. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was, there wasn't a front runner. It was a really um, uh, quite heated, it's, I think, at some points. I, was, I dipped in the beginning and the end, and, and that's what I, I, I was told. Um, and the judges did want to communicate that they thought that the 12 albums were just Sorry, outstanding. The God, just uh, no, all right, all right. <laughs> They're telling me to wrap it up. Okay, so um, I'm very happy to reveal that the winner of uh, the best album 2020 is uh, Kit Philippa, and the album is Human. Oh, we're just so excited for Kit, and there they are. Hi, Kit, how are you? I'm, I'm okay, I'm, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you're the most kind of uh, confident, um, cocky musician in Northern Ireland. You're probably going, well, obviously I was going to win this. <laughs> I do jest, of course. Uh, I would imagine you're the type who is incredibly surprised by this. Yeah, like, um... It, it means an awful lot. Like there's so much talent in Northern Ireland, um, both nominated he here, you know, and, and, and not nominated. And um, yeah, I'm just, um, I'm so proud to be a part of this community. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> thank you to all of you that, you know, make it what it is. Um, so yeah, everyone, thank you to everyone who supported me and my music, you know, my family and close friends and the team, Charlene Hegarty, of course, um, Paragon Records, Faber, Pitch and Smith, um, and Matt Duke, I recorded the album with. Uh, um, it's, uh, it means, uh, it means so much to me and, uh, yeah, lots of love to, to all of you. Thank you. Kit is now a multi-award winning because, of course, single of the year mm -hmm. a couple of years ago as well. Grabbing all the awards. Yeah. <laughs> well, massive well done to Kit Philippa and, of course, a very worthy winner. Let's take time out to hear them do what they do best, make beautiful music. This is Kit Philippa, the 2020 winner of Album of the Year.
Feeling high cause I wanna taste it Feeling low but I can't erase it I want to feel alive Feel alive Feel I keep building for demolitions Giving rest to all my premonitions But I want this I want this To last Humanity is all we need Unite people isolating Chasing our tails We're spinning our wheels We are love, we are peace, we are human And time is short and forever dying but this love be forever trying All we have, of all we need is here And what's the point if you never show it? I gave you space but you throw me stones still Resurrect, realign, rebuild Humanity is all together but no I'm struggling and I am hurting not immune to the fumes not one smoky mirrors mirror flower as a way for righteous sorrow and calibrate ruminate pursue humanity I mean, there's so many wonderful albums, but um, if you're watching tonight and you're only partially aware of, of Kit and what they do, go and check that record out. Like, it just, it, it really, really impacted me as a music fan, and I know it will you guys watching too. So, a really, really worthy winner. We're all delighted for Kit not to take away from just an incredible selection of records, all of which we're, we're shining a light on tonight. You know, it's about going and, and, and taking a deep dive into the NI music scene and, and the Albums nominated are a really great place to start. Mm -hmm. So there we go. But as I say, a really, really worthy winner and, and a, a wonderful way, fitting way to round off tonight's live stream. Big thanks to all of our supporters, sponsors, musicians and friends who helped make tonight possible. We really couldn't have done it without you and thank you for helping us keep music alive in 2020. Yeah, and after a, a slightly ropey start, <laughs> it, it feels like it's, it's been really good fun. Um, all the crew here mm -hmm. have worked so hard putting this together. Um, you know, it's not easy in, in, in these times and everybody keeping apart and wearing their masks and stuff apart from, apart from us. Um, so big love to everybody who's helped make it, this event happen, not just tonight, but all the incredible performances that we've seen uh, recorded in recent times as part of Sound of Belfast. And if you've just tuned in, you can go and watch back on YouTube. Share it with your mates, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, tell strangers in the street, just shout. NI Music Prize 2020 and maybe tell them to go and watch it on YouTube. Uh, to take us home tonight so we can all go and watch the rest of Extra Time, Sasha Samara and Band, winner of the Oh Yeah Contender Awards, joining Arborist Kit Philippa and New Pagans, picking up silverware tonight. Anyway, hopefully live music soon. Keep the faith. Better times ahead. Next year we'll be back. 
in a sweaty venue. Can't wait. We'll be close to each other, <laughs> social distancing, hopefully a distant memory. Mm -hmm. We're crossing absolutely everything, but from myself and from Gemma, good night to you. Our program for getting over you. I let you back into my life, but I want rid of you. You tempt me like the devil, but my desert days are done. No, you'll get by without me. Oh, I know you'll have your fun, and it's hard to shake. It's a habit to use in the making, so it's hard to break, but I'm letting you go. Oh, you love